Hey everyone and welcome to the May Cave. My name is Megan and today I'm going to bring you some middle grade recommendations in the spirit of middle grade March, which I am participating in. I'm not going to recommend to you any of the books that I have on my TBR for middle grade March because otherwise you could just watch my TBR video. So these are books that I loved when I was younger and I think everyone else should enjoy. And I want to recommend them to you and I have some contemporary ones, I have some fantasy, I have some fairy tale retellings and I'm really excited to share these with you guys. And if you happen to be wanting to do middle grade March and you weren't sure what books you wanted to read, maybe you could choose them from this list. Or you can find others, you know, it's okay. So let's just get into it. I'm going to stop rambling now. The first book is Just Ella by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Now when I read this when I was younger, I actually thought that it was a continuation of Ella Enchanted, which it's not because that's by a different author. But this is basically a Cinderella retelling. And it's really interesting because it's after she's already promised to the prince, she's learning how to be a princess, and she's not really sure that she actually wants to be a princess and that she may not love the prince. Is she going to stay? Is she going to go? What's going to happen? That's why I love the cover because it's her dressed as a princess, but then it's torn to show her peasant side underneath, I guess. And it's very interesting. I really enjoyed her her viewpoint from this after, you know, the ever after part. And it also explains the glass slipper and the dress and everything without the magical wands and stuff like that. So I think that's really cool that everything is set in more realistic and logical ways of getting to the ball. So it's a really fun retelling and I really enjoy this one. So if you're looking for something fun and short, I think it's only 200 and some odd pages. 185, even shorter. But it's a really good book. I highly recommend this one. So the second book I have for you is the first in a series and that is A Wolf Brother by Michelle Paver. This is the first in the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness series. And this is about a young boy named Torak, and it's set in a tribal setting, and he has to help fight the evil that is going to come across and sweep up their land and just destroy everything. And I think it was really well done. I like the world building and how he is as a character and what he does to help fight the bad guys, I guess. I think there are about seven books in the series, so if you really like this one, there are plenty more books for you to get hooked onto. The next book I have is actually a contemporary read, and that is Blister by Susan Shrev. This is a very interesting book. It's about a young girl named Melissa whose parents are going through a breakup. So she lives with her grandma and her mom and her little sister, I think, or maybe a little brother. I think it's a little brother. And her dad lives in a new apartment with a new girlfriend. So she's coping with that, and she's going to a new school. So she's given herself this new identity. And her name was Alyssa, but she's given herself the name of Blister. She's stealing clothes from her dad's girlfriend's closet, so the heels and big flashy skirts and everything. She's trying out for the cheer squad and she's acting very different and kind of acting out a little bit. It's a very interesting book and it's a, it's a great look into seeing how she's dealing with her parents breaking up. And I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend this one, especially if you're looking for a more contemporary read. Staying in the contemporary vein, I have a trilogy for you and that is The Wedding Planner's Honor by Colleen Murtaugh Perator. I think I'm saying her name right. And this is such a fun trilogy. It's set in a little town called Bramble, and her mom, of course, is a wedding planner, and her name is Willa. I think she's about 12 years old. And in the first book, she's trying to help her mom find love, and she, of course, has a crush on somebody, but then something goes wrong with the cherry cordials, and her grandma owns a, a sweet shop, which I think is so cool. It's just a very fun series. And the second one is Cupid Chronicles, and the third one is Willa at Heart. And these are so much fun. I really, really enjoy these, and the artwork is so sweet. If you're looking for a contemporary read that will lift your spirits, this is definitely one for it. Next, I have for you a Snow White retelling, and that is Fairest by Gail Carson Levine. She also authored Ella Enchanted. This is such an interesting book. It's about a young girl named Aza who is deemed to be ugly, but she has a very interesting way of singing. She can throw her voice, so if she's singing from here, she can make it sound like someone is talking from way over there, and it's really interesting. And she's been kind of hiding in the shadows until she has to come out and kind of attend to the queen and become a lady in waiting. So I really love the way that her life takes a turn and what she, how she kind of copes with everything and the way the dwarves play a role in the story. I think I absolutely just love everything about this book and it's so unique and I highly recommend this one. So next I have a beloved classic for me and I cannot do this um, video without mentioning it, The BFG by Roald Dahl. I read this book multiple times when I was a kid. My dad read it to me, my husband has a copy. I love this book. I think it is so sweet and endearing. It's just my favorite. I'm not tempted to try Snaw's Cumbers, <laughs> but it's a really good book. And I have seen the movie. I actually really did enjoy it, even though if it was a little different. I liked the differences that they put in the movie. So the movie and the book are both very good, but if you have not read the BFG, you really need to get on it because it's such a good book. 
Next, I have a fun series for you, and that is the Lady Grace Mysteries. Now, these are not ended by one particular author, so I'm not going to just try and list them all off. This is about a young girl named Grace Cavendish who was lady in waiting to Queen Elizabeth I. So it's a historical mystery series, and I think that is so much fun. And it's alphabetical order. They only actually went up to F because, actually, I don't know why, but they stopped at F. They have a few more after that that have a very different look than these first books, so I'm not too enthusiastic about them, but it never went to Z. I would have liked to see that, but oh well. So And they're very fun. It's just her. She's kind of one of the spies in Elizabeth's network, and she's trying to figure things out, like, for instance, who murdered who in this one, which is Assassin. This is the first one. The second one is titled Betrayal, and this one actually, she has she gets to go on a ship and dress up as a boy, which is a lot of fun. The second, oh, excuse me, the third one is Conspiracy. This one is my favorite. It's They have a ball, and she's dressing up as a wood nymph and everything. This one's a lot of fun. The next one is Deception, Exile, and the last one is Feud. Now, these books, they are so much fun, and I highly recommend them, especially if you're looking for something historical or mysterious. They have both. Last but not least, I have a really great fantasy series, and that is The Land of Elion Books by Patrick Carmen. This is a first book called Dark Hills Divide. It's about a young girl named Alexa Daly, who I think is 12 years old, and she lives in a connection of four different cities that are connected in the shape of a Y. And no one's allowed to go outside the walls that, sit, that protect the cities, even the walls even protect the, the roadways between each city. And it's because there's some forbidden evil that's beyond in the forest beyond, and she's always been curious about it, and she's always been adventurous, and one day, she finds out a way to get beyond the walls. And it is very interesting. I love this series. It's so good. She meets, She's so strong-spirited and adventurous. She meets a lot of great friends along the way. And it's a series I actually have not finished. So there are a total of four books in the series. The second book is Beyond the Valley of the Thorns. The third book is A Tenth City, or The Tenth City, excuse me. And those are the three that I have actually read. I have not read the fourth one, which is called Stargazer. At least I don't think I have. And then this year I found, or last year, excuse me, a prequel called Into the Mist, which I've never heard of before. But I found it, and it's in a hardcover match of the other ones, so I'm super excited about it. And I can't wait to see what this one's about. So eventually I'm going to reread these books so I can finish the series and just have fun with them because I want to finish them. So if you're interested in fantasy in any kind of way, this is such a great series. And now they're out of order, I'm sorry. Anyway, that is it for my middle grade book recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below if there are any books that piqued your interest or if you've read any of these books before or if you have any great recommendations for me. I'd love to hear what you have to tell me about because all the middle grade books that I have on my shelf that I haven't read are already in my TBR for middle grade March. So beyond that, I don't have anything new to read for middle grade books. I mean, I have these ones that I want to reread, which I hopefully will do sometime soon, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.